how to colour inkjet print to a high-end standard. Step 1. Make sure that your inkjet printer reliably gives you a perfect nozzle check every time and your colours and densities are consistent. Now let's see this nozzle check here. Let's bring it right up, nice and close. Now anything less than a perfect nozzle check is not acceptable. Now, if your colours and densities are not consistent, you've got to contact your supplier, um, either repair or replace your printer if you cannot achieve these two vital basic requirements. Step two, ensure that your inkjet printer is connected to your computer by a USB printer cable, not Wi-Fi, and make sure that you have a full function printer driver, not a cut down consumer version. So our printer driver gives us the highest resolution, it gives us all the features that we need to properly control this printer. If not, you've got to go back and you've got to revisit your printer driver. Step three you need to check that your current custom printer profile is giving you good, accurate colour. Use our calibration uh, image uh, and our calibration print to check um, that you, you have good accuracy. Now you can get yours free when you use the link below. Well, we'll send you the calibration print and you can download the accurate JPEG image. Now, if your print is not identical to the calibration print, uh, you really need to get a new custom printer profile and recheck your accuracy. Carry out this check on a monthly basis and remember that outside forces affect your computer. Online updates may cause subtle colour and density changes to your print. Changing printer drivers, equipment or updating software can all change printer colour density rendering which usually can only be corrected by reprofiling. Marit reprofile your printer free of charge throughout the life of your printer if you use their papers or their inks. As a general rule of thumb, if your printer profile is over six months old, it's probably not accurate enough for high-end Profoto colour printing. Generic printer profiles created from another printer to get you in the ballpark of accuracy are not considered to be accurate enough at this level of print production. Don't use them. Step four. Check that your monitor agrees to your accurate calibration print produced by your own printer. If not, you calibrate your monitor with an on-screen monitor calibrator such as an x i i1 Display Pro or the more basic Color Monkey display. Then finally, fine-tune uh, uh, fine -tune to allow for your own specific perception of colour and tone. Now we all see colour slightly differently, so relying solely on a device may lead you astray slightly if you're partially colour blind. Many print workers manually adjust their screens <coughs> regularly from their <coughs> own printed calibration image, usually on a weekly basis. Step five. Take an image straight from your digital camera, size up to, uh, a sub, make sure it's sized as an RGB 8-bit image according to our spreadsheet. Now, this spreadsheet is available uh, for download. You just click on the link below. Now, this takes into account the pixel count of your digital camera and the intended size of your print. Now let's turn to our computer screen. 